NBA fan base has hit a new low after vandalizing one of their own players' cars. Stay tuned to see why these fans are bullying one of their own. Hey guys, I'm Britt Johnson. Make sure you follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson and click subscribe to join the Fumble Fam if you haven't already. The Rockets organization has been taking some major L's lately. From their issues with players reportedly requesting trades to losing big games on big stages to ownership having a very public fight about how much they're going to pay Mike D'Antoni. This energy has made its way all the way to their fan base who literally took it to an all-time low and vandalized one of their players' cars after a playoff loss. That's right, you guys heard me right. The Rockets fans vandalized a player's car that plays for their own team. The player who had to suffer the vandalism and outright disrespect was none other than Rockets baller Clint Capella. Capella has actually spent his entire career with the Rockets so far. He was drafted by the team in 2014 with the 25th pick of the NBA draft. Last offseason, the team re-signed him to a $90 million deal. Although the Rockets reportedly had teams interested in trading for him recently, none of those deals seem to have gone through, so it looks like Capella might be staying a Rocket for a little while longer. So it makes it so much worse that the Rockets fans would go solo and damage his car. The incident took place during Game 6 of the Western Conference Semifinals Warriors vs. Rockets matchup. The Warriors won the series 4-2 to advance to the Conference Finals and the Rockets were sent home for the season. During the six-game series, Capella averaged 8.8 .8 points and 10 rebounds and shot 53.5% from the field, but apparently that wasn't enough to impress the Rockets fans who believe he isn't living up to his $90 million contract. The Athletics said this about what took place. The fans were even harder on him calling for his head in trade talks and deeming his contract as a waste of money. His Range Rover was vandalized in the days following Game 6, according to two people close to Capella with knowledge of the situation. The windows were broken, the side panels ripped apart, and the outside of the vehicle keyed and scratched. Sheesh, Rockets fans! Like I said before, this all started from the top, though. An unnamed Rockets source told ESPN this about what's going on behind closed doors with the franchise. There's too much damn turmoil. There's some hard feelings right now everywhere. No wonder why Chris Paul reportedly requested to be traded. Even if his issue with James Harden isn't that big of a deal, what player wants to deal with fans that might vandalize their car when they lose or don't have a great game. And this isn't the first time Houston fans have turned up like this. I remember a few years ago when you gave your poor, poor quarterback a hard time and constantly harassed Matt because of all those damn picks he was throwing. Lesson to learn about Houston, if you suck, Get ready for all the hate because those fans clearly don't play. I want to know what you guys think about the Houston fans vandalizing one of their own players' cars after a playoff loss. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you soon.